This is Andy Crawford with uh, LouisianaSportsman.com. We are here with uh, Greg Hatton from Gonzales. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Bassmasters Classic, which is coming to New Orleans in a couple of weeks. It's scheduled for February 18th through the 20th. Um, Greg, you have spent a, a ton of time on the water down here. Obviously, you're a local, uh, but you spent extra time uh, before the cutoff. What, what have you found out about the, the waters down here? Uh, well, you know, really, I, I honestly believe the Delta's probably in the best shape it's been in since like 1998. Right. Uh, I had the opportunity to really start fishing down here, I guess, in like 96, 97, which was kind of the end of the heyday. Right. You know, right before we had a big drought in 98 that killed the fish back. But, you know, before that time, the fishing in this part of the country was phenomenal, and I don't think the rest of the world knew that. But I, I think now, you know, we've had a couple storms, you know, in the last uh, few years, and They've run these freshwater diversions, and it, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the fishery's phenomenal right now. Well, now, uh, you know, when you were fishing uh, before the cutoff, the cutoff was what, in December, right? December 14th okay. was the last, uh, last day of the year. Okay, so, so you haven't been on the water since. Um, we've had a lot of north wind. We've had a lot of low water everywhere across the coast. Uh, do you think that's going to that and this cold weather is going to have any effect on the the fishery? You know, uh, it, it's it's really hard to say about what that weather actually does to the fish. But the one thing I do feel sure it's doing is keeping them from spawning. Okay. You know, our fish will start spawning in January if we have the right conditions right. on the full right. moon of January. So the classic is scheduled for February the eighteenth, which is the full moon of February. Right. And. Uh, I, I really think what's happened is cold weather is probably helping. Now, if we have this kind of weather during the Classic, it's going to be detrimental because it's going to blow all the water out. Right. It's a problem. But what it is doing is keeping this big water fish that's ready to spawn, it's holding them off, holding them off. So I say, you know, for, see if we get three or four days of, we of warm, nice weather before the Classic, I, I, we're going to break all the records, you know, from the previous uh, Spring Classic. So, so when you say it's going to help by holding the fish off, you mean it's going to keep the weights up? Yeah, because I, I think what will happen here, normally in this part of the country, mm -hmm. and all over actually, when that first bunch comes out, mm -hmm. the big ones come first. It's, okay. it's like that all over the country for some reason. They spawn as quick as possible. You know, your your best fish, whether, you know, depending on where you're at, five to ten right. pounders. Right. So I expect if... Uh, if the weather and everything right now, this cold winter is lining up for it to be a really good classic. Right. If, if it'll warm up during the classic. Well, um, if it's cold, well, well, let's 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 take it the other way. If it does warm up, are you looking for a bedding classic? Uh, well, I just think if it warms up, what'll happen? It'll push all those fish out there right. at once, and you'll have you'll. You'll still be fishing for pre-spawn and spawn okay. fish, but right. you know, because a lot of our water water you can't sight fish in because right. it's too dirty. But I, I, I heard a report from a guy the other day that said this, but you can't see them here. Yeah. Our bunch can see them. Right. They come out on the beds. I really don't want that. To, I don't want it to be a full-blown spawn tournament. Right. You know, this is the 50 of the best sight fishermen on the planet. Right. You know, and there are some places because the Mississippi River's low, places yeah. like Catawachi, you know that. The water's clearer than normal. Right. Those fish pop out in that grass to spawn these boys. We'll hammer them. And I, the, to me, that takes any advantage that I might have. It takes it out of the equation. Where if it stays a little cooler, mm -hmm. and those fish, you know, because I, yeah, I did get to spend a lot of time fishing for these fish. And I, there are about four really key areas in the delta right now that can produce the winning weights. And there's a chance if it stays cold, they may fish over some of them and not find them. Because okay. I found them previously. Right. You know, so I'd probably rather for it to be a little on the cool side. Okay. All right. Well, and that, that if, if it is cold, if this kind of weather, which, which is unlikely, but if, if we have a really cold blast come through that week, what's going to happen with the fish? Well, it'll keep the weights down, but the biggest thing it does, it's not that we won't be able to catch them. It'll just mess some areas up and keep you from catching them. You know, it'll blow the water out. Right. If we would have some cold weather, and not a really high north wind, mm -hmm. it won't be that bad. I mean, the fishing will still be good. These fish will be healthy and they'll bite. But what'll happen is, and I, I watched here maybe two fronts ago, I've not really been out and drove around uh, during this, the one we're having now, but I mean, you know, it blew for like three days yeah. out of the north, and yeah. what happened was it just completely dries up right. fishable areas, right. you know, right. and then, I, then all of a sudden it, it changes my mindset in the places I can go, but there's another variable that may be happening right now is the Mississippi River. There is some water coming down, but I can't tell. It's too far out yet to see how much. Right. But it's lining up to hit about the classic. Okay. So and just, okay. that's another variable. That All right. Um, well, what do you believe that it's going to take to win the classic? I'll be honest with you. I'm scared to <laughs> throw those numbers out there because they could be 
I'm t if things line up right, 22 plus a day to win. Really? Yeah. 22 a day? Yeah, a day to win. Yeah. Really? You yeah. think somebody because could win? Yeah, without a problem. Really? Yeah, without any problem. They, they're here. Really? Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest with you. It kind of seemed to me like a lot of the local guys don't realize how good the fishing is here. Why, why is that? Because, uh, because, because we fish differently? Uh, or? Well, I, I think the deal is they... It, it's not that they're spoiled, mm -hmm. but the fishing's so good <laughs> that they don't have to do a lot of different things. And this bunch is so capable. I hate to... I mean, I'll just be honest with you, I fished against these guys, and I, mm -hmm. <laughs> there will be guys in this tournament catching better here than the, than the best fisherman that's lived here his whole life catches them. Really? These guys are so versatile. They'll do things that these fish have never seen before. Right. You know, everybody right. has a tendency to get in that same cycle and fish in the same ways. And if yeah. they, they go in one of these good areas, a local, and he does his main deal, and they don't bite, Ah, uh, they're not gonna catch them in there. Right. Well, that this bunch doesn't know that. Right. They're gonna come <laughs> right. in there and throw something off the wall, you know, mm -hmm. and get these fish to bite. And I, I honestly believe that um, the Signet area mm -hmm. is there are a lot of giant fish, and the, if the deal is if it lines up and hits right, there are gonna be stringers of these fish over five pounds, Carl. Really. This bunch, I, you know, I hope they don't. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> if it takes eighteen pounds a day to win the classic, right. I'm, I, it would suit me a lot better if it only takes 18 a day. I'll okay. just tell you that. Okay, okay. now, um, what areas, I mean, you said there's four key areas. I, I'm thinking Venice. Uh, That's one, Venice, Catawachi, uh, Bayou Black, mm -hmm. uh, and, and probably somebody, I, it will not surprise me if uh, Cliff Pace goes to Delacro. Really? I, I, was, I was wondering. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's a sleeper. Yeah. It's a small area. It won't handle a lot of boats. Right. But one guy could go over there and do some damage every day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I've kept it in the back of my mind the whole time. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going, you know, just because I'm, I go over there to redfish. I don't do that much bass <laughs> fishing over there. But I, I do know, see, the thing about it is that diversions run over as much as possible yeah. this yeah. summer. That's right. So those fish, and Catawachi Sea is the one that gets all the hype. And what it's doing is taking the pressure off these other places. Now, Venice really caught the hype in the fall because you could go down there and catch 200 sure. a day. Sure. And everybody know, you know, knows yeah. that. But that the Delcro area has kind of been flying under the radar. So but it takes so long to get there, and it's such an iffy prospect getting back in time, don't you think? Uh, the boy, I, well, you, you say that, but those boys that went last time mm -hmm. had no trouble going and coming. Oh, really? And I don't think they will okay. this time either. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I, I have to try. Uh, what, what areas are you going to key on? You know, it's it's it, it, it's for me possibly because of the weather. It's a Venice, Catawachi, Bayou Black kind okay. of deal for me, honestly. And the reason for I, you, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to run straight out. I don't want to lock. That's okay. what keeps okay. me from going over to Delacro. Right. But I, I know someone like Cliff Pace. He spent half of his fishing career yeah. fishing that area. Right. And I'll be honest with you, if that was home for me. I'd be going there. Right. Because you feel like even though you're fishing against a bunch of people that don't know the area as well, you know, you can get by with running that far. You know, yeah. the deal is you can run over there as quick as you can go to Venice. Sure. But sure. the deal is going to Venice, you can run straight out. Right. You know? Right. Right. Well, um, with what you know uh, about the water, okay, I mean, things have changed since they've been here the last time with Katrina. Um, with with Gustav, you know, there there have been some changes in the in the in the waters. Um, with what you've learned, do you have you know that that home field advantage is is often not an advantage with these things? Do you think it gives you a leg up? Uh, you know, the only thing, honestly, if we have the kind of weather we're having today, I feel like I'll probably have an advantage because I know where they live. Okay, and I can go there and fish slow enough for them and not fish over them because I know right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know where some key places okay. are where they're they're home right now. Right. And some of these other guys might blow through them because the air is so vast. See, that's another thing. I, I spent a lot of time practicing. We got three days of practice. It wouldn't make me any difference right now if they didn't give us that. I'm going to go more on weather than I do anything else. Okay. I, you know, I know the areas that they live in. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. I mean, but it's really going the weather's going to dictate where I fish at. But I, again, it goes back to if it, I would rather it took 18 pounds a day to win the. Okay. Win the classic. Okay. I, you know, when conditions were a little tougher and they didn't right. catch them as well because right. it's lining up, honestly, that all 50 anglers are going to catch a limit every day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you, you can look like, say, they, people talk about Catawachi's going to get beat up the tank pond area, whatever. There's only 50 of us. Yeah. This is the Louisiana Delta. Yeah. I mean, it's the biggest fishery right. on the planet that we go to. 
Right. They're only fifty guys. You can put you could put a hundred boats in Catawatchee and it's not gonna hurt it. Right. You know, I don't think they realize this bunch is gonna catch them regardless. <laughs> so probably, you know, honestly, deep down inside I don't necessarily like to fish when it's freezing cold, but it would probably suit me better if it's cold. Right. But not necessarily. You, you've done well on, on cold weather terms. Yeah, I, I like I mean I don't mind the conditions being bad. Right. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm pretty pumped up about the class of being here. <laughs> but I, so I would probably rather for it to be bad, you know, the weather to be Right. Bad. Okay. Now the, the, the obvious question that, that, that people talk about when they talk about you in the classic, you had one top five finish. Uh, the other classics, the other what, seven classics that you've uh, fished in, you you've not well, set the world on fire, you know. But I, I think the biggest thing with that, and mm -hmm. like, the, say the last classic we had, right. like I didn't do any good last year. Mm -hmm. That second day, instead of going back and fishing the way I did the first day, right. and probably having a better finish, right. you know, I did something to try to get into the cut. I don't think people realize that. Like, I don't go into the classic to catch a lemon every day. Right. There's a difference, and you know, I, <laughs> okay. Like these other tournaments we go to, I try to finish as high as possible in them because it's a points issue. It's a points issue. Right. I, you know, I need to make it back to the classic. Right. But in the classic, you know, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm like, I could go over here and catch a limit, yeah. or I can go over here and have an outside chance of doing well. I'm going to okay. take my chances on the outside of doing well because the money's the same right. unless you're in the top five. Right. Right. That's where the, uh, you know, the deal I finished in the top five at the Greenville Classic, the reason for that, I thought I was on the fish to win. I fished the same fish all three days. Okay. It's the only classic out of nine, well this will be my ninth, right. out of the previous eight that I fish my fish every day. I always do something different. I'll start off, if right. they don't, if it's not gelling, you know, I'm gonna do something different. Okay. You know, so I, uh, I, I think that's misleading because remember, they only remember the guy that won that's last right. year. That's and right. And before that, it's the winner. That's right. Everybody else, oh well, you know what I'm saying. I, I mean, yeah. it's, it's just the, the nature of the game. That's the way the classic is. That's right. It's, it's, a, it's a completely different tournament than I've ever covered as a as a rider. Um, I'll it, be honest with you. If they would change the money, right? If the money goes up a thousand dollars every spot, right? I'll change the way I fish. <laughs> but if you don't win, yeah. I mean, 25th through 30th or 25th through 50th get the same money, right? And then 24th through I think like eighth. Get the, get the same, same money. money right, you see, right. so it's not a, and it's two thousand dollars. Right. So do you fish for the half a million or do you fish for the two thousand dollars? You know. <laughs> right. I mean? Right. Right. Well, now, um, are you are you going to sort of take that that approach this year that you're you're going for the win? And, uh, well, no, I'm going to fish whatever I get on. Okay. I, uh, that that you know that kind of goes back to the deal. I, I'll know more after I practice. Okay. But I, I pretty well, I, you know, I, I, I kind of know depending on whether what it's going to take to win. Yeah. And so they're, you know, I've got, like, I, I feel like I know some areas that are better producing 18. Yeah. But they won't produce over 22. Right. You right. know, so okay. depending on the weather, I'll fish this area or do I fish. That will yeah. re really be the biggest thing that changes. Okay. There's, a, there's really, you know, there are two areas that are going to produce those, you know, could produce those eight and nine pounders. And that's, see, that's what I don't know if everybody realizes. Th that area, those areas being what, Catawachi and... You know, I really think somebody's going to catch one in Bayou Black like yeah. that. I really okay. think there's going to be a big fish right. come from over there, too. Right. And the deal is, but all the areas will produce three pounders. Right. See, there's right. the curve. Okay. See, the Delacro area, I'm not sure about. It could also produce, you know, six pound plus fish. Yeah. Okay, you go out there and you catch you three three pounders, and then you catch you a four, and then you got a nine. Right. Then I went to another place and I've caught yeah. five fours. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's all going right. on. All okay. depending on the weather. I honestly think the Venice area ha probably has the biggest number of two to fours. Right. Right. But it's it's not going to be a whole bunch of giants come from you, down. You know, there. I I got a report. I heard a report today that there was an 18 pound stringer caught out there. Um, but the guy had a 798. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that same fish could come from one of these other areas exactly. with a limit of three and a half pounders. And you got all day to fish. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so, but again, Venice is one of those areas. If we have a severe cold front, yeah. it'll be better okay. than these flat shower places that okay. might produce the big ones. Okay. All, again, that's all these variables. Okay. There are more variables for this classic than any other because it's an. The other, I'm not saying the other places we've It's had a wide it, open. Right, it's not current. a controlled environment. You've yeah. got the Mississippi dumping cold yeah. water here. Mm -hmm. You've got a front blowing all the water out from up here. <laughs> right. You, right. you know, you got you can fish in a lake, you can fish in dead ends. I mean, it's It's, just, it's going to be an issue that, that y'all may have to adjust every day. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Good. You know, I could see me, I, honestly, I could see me practicing in one area and fishing the classic in another. 
Okay. You know, I can right. see that. Like, there is one particular area, and I won't say which one it is, that I won't pre-fish in. Okay. If I go there, I'm going blind. I'll, I'm going to spend my time, you know. Because you know what's there. I know what's there, and I know where to go when I get there, okay. and it's pretty cut and dry. They, right. It's one of those deals where they just don't, this time of year, they don't live everywhere. Right. They live right. in certain little deals. Right. So I don't have to, you know, I'm like, okay. if I need to go there, I'll just go blind, and the, okay. these other places I'll spend my okay. time practicing. All right, if you had to pick one uh, angler besides yourself who would, uh, who you think will will win or has a great shot at winning, who would it be? You know, I'm going to be honest with you. If, it's, if the weather's really, really bad and cold, I'm picking Van Damme. Okay. Uh, okay. If the weather's nice, I'll pick Cliff Pace. Okay, okay, great. You know, okay. I, I think he's got more of a local advantage, okay. but if it's cold, the, the way Van Dam likes to fish will win the tournament. It's hard to, to it, bet against him. If the weather's warm, right. I, you know what? He okay. won't be a factor. He'll okay. be in the middle of the pack. He'll catch him good. He'll be up there somewhere. And I won't okay. say he won't finish fit. Right. But if it's if it's bad, cold weather, the way he likes to okay. catch him is going to be one of the ways that the okay. class can be won. So I, I would have to pick him if the weather's like this. Okay.